Are you looking for a rural town to buy some real estate? Want to get a mortgage and live the American dream in Wyoming? Today, we're looking at great rural towns in the cowboy state. Wyoming is a western state that prides itself on its old west frontier history. The land and the people still carry a lot of that old west spirit. It's a very unique place to live. The people are amazing. Wyoming has been a move to hotspot for years. As other western states have cooled down, like Colorado, Montana, and Oregon, Wyoming is picking up steam. Real estate in most most of Wyoming is reasonable. Crime isn't a major issue for 99% of the state, and it's beautiful. What's not to love? Like I said in other videos, I normally do top 10 lists, but not all states have 10 good rural towns, and I don't want to waste your time with a bunch of towns that are a bit of a reach just to get to number 10. Wyoming's issues in their small towns are access to healthcare and quality internet, sort of. They don't have the best coverage when it comes to normal internet providers. But Starlink, the one by SpaceX, gets really good reviews in Wyoming. I mean, most of the flatlands of Wyoming, you can get like 200 Mbps. I've watched several reviews on Starlink in Wyoming, read a couple different articles. It seemed to be doing pretty good there. But healthcare and internet somewhat do knock a lot of really good small towns off this list. And and if you're about to comment, stop typing. Most people do need internet. We know you like the outdoors and you like reading books. Congratulations, you're better than all of us. We should strive to be more like you. The focus of this series is rural towns. That normally implies a good distance outside any major metro areas. Wyoming really doesn't have any major metro areas. With the towns in this video, we're looking for that sweet spot, a decent place to live that isn't too close to any major cities. It's easy on the crime rate, not five hours away from a hospital, or so far out in the sticks you get horrible internet. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number six. Du Bois, Wyoming. Du Bois, Wyoming is in western Wyoming, not too far from Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons. It is also really close to complete peace and quiet. Honestly, this place is out there. It's like the perfect place to live if you're dodging subpoenas or something like that. It is called Du Bois, and if you're looking at it and you're thinking, no, that's Du Bois, it's Du Bois here. It might be Du Bois everywhere else in the world. It's Du Bois here. Du Bois sits about three hours west of Casper, Wyoming, and about an hour and a half east of Jackson, Wyoming. But Cassidy, actually Robert Leroy Parker, the Old West guy, he owned and managed a ranch on the outskirts of Du Bois beginning somewhere around 1890. This is a great place to go fishing. They've got a lot of creeks, river goes right by town. This is a great place to live for the outdoor types that want some peace and quiet. You won't get peace and quiet on the west side of town, though. There's a gun range there right by the river. Every place else seems pretty solid when it comes to peace and quiet. They only have 800 residents living in Du Bois, and they get a thumbs up when it comes to crime rate. Their crime rate is actually 17% lower than the national average, which is kind of high for most of Wyoming, but it's a great place to live, so they go on the list. When it comes to healthcare, they get a faded thumbs up. In town, they only have a place called the Du Bois Medical Clinic. It's a small clinic with some doctors and stuff, and I'm sure they do great work. It's just not a full-blown hospital if you need specialists or stuff like that, or an emergency room for that matter. For that kind of action, you gotta head all the way out to Jackson, which is about an hour and a half away. That's why they get the faded thumbs up. In most states, being an hour and a half away from a full-blown hospital is a really bad thing. In Wyoming, that's kind of par for course. When it comes to internet, they're getting a thumbs up because they have Range Telephone Cooperative that offers one gig for 84% percent of the town. So that's solid. And like I said at the beginning, Starlink seems to be a really good option for Wyoming. As far as property goes, I'm going to give them a faded thumbs up. And there's a couple reasons for that. Things aren't available all the time. And when they do, they're a little expensive. But there's a caveat to that. Almost anything you buy in Wyoming is going to come with at least an acre. Unless you're like downtown Casper or Cheyenne, most any piece of property you buy, any real estate will come with some acreage. So it's going to be a little expensive. Right now, they have a couple places on the outskirts of town. One is going for $700,000. That comes with about five acres. And one's going for $550,000. That comes with two and a half acres. Both of those pieces of property are right on the river too. So it's expensive, but it's worth it. Number five, Lovell, Wyoming. Lovell is the largest town in Bighorn County, Wyoming, which is in the northern section of the Cowboy State, not too far from Bighorn Lake and the Montana border. This is another great place if you like fishing, outdoors, hiking, I don't know, mountain biking. Not too terribly far from the Bighorn National Forest and Bighorn Canyon National Recreation Center. This is a great place to live if you want to be outdoors. Fresh air, nice river, not too far from town. And it only has a population of about 23 
300 residents. Now they get a big thumbs up here for their crime rate. It's actually 58% lower than the national average, which is outstanding. When it comes to internet, they get a faded thumbs up in Lovell. They have a company called TCT, which offers 75 Mbps, and that's DSL. They cover about 98.9% .9 of the town, so that's good. It's just not the fastest internet you're going to get. Again, Starlink might be a great option here. Lovell gets a thumbs up for their healthcare. They do have a hospital in town. It's North Bighorn Hospital. It's got a clinic and a couple other things there. Anything major, you're probably going to have to head out to like Billings, Montana, which is about an hour and a half north of Lovell. Lovell gets a big thumbs up when it comes to real estate. Right now, they have two places in town, one going for $258,000, the other one going for $150,000. They're both livable, probably not going to need a bunch of work. They're just a little bit older, but they're nice. Looking back over the last few months, it seems like everything that sells in town usually goes for around $300,000 or less. That's solid. Get outside of town a little bit and it starts getting a little more expensive and you get some acreage. So like I said, they get a big thumbs up for real estate. All in all, Lovell's not a bad place to live. Number four, Sundance, Wyoming. It already sounds like a cool place to live. Sundance, Wyoming. This town sits near the North Dakota border and the Black Hills National Forest. Now, before we go on, how many of you were typing out the message to tell me it's near South Dakota, not North Dakota? Be honest, who was leaving the comment? There's a lot of people, once they see a mistake, they just put the whole video on pause while they angrily type out some kind of message. Anyway, it's near South Dakota and the Black Hills and about 30 minutes southeast of Devil's Tower. Wyoming. This town isn't named after a person, it's actually named after the sun dance ceremony practiced by several American Indian tribes or Native American Indian tribe, or indigenous people, whatever you want to call it. Sundance has a population of about a thousand residents, a little bit over 1,032, and they get a big thumbs up for their crime rate. It's 71% lower than the national average, which is outstanding. That's what I love about Wyoming. There is not much crime, and a lot of people might say it's because everyone's packing. Maybe. It also has a lot to do with the people are just decent. And these decent people get a thumbs up for their internet too. 72% of the town is covered by rain telephone cooperative and they offer one gig when it comes to healthcare, they get a big thumbs up too they got everything they got an emergency room at crook county hospital they also have crook county hospital nursing home they have crook county hospital long-term care north wyoming mental health and they also got a high school which always comes with a nurse uh funny story years uh, i've been graduated high school for like 30 something years but uh there was an accident right in front of our um high school one time and the high school nurse ran out there basically saved a dude's life <laughs> I was like, that's good. But this is another great town to live if you love the outdoors. I mean, hiking, fishing, camping, mountain biking, snowmobiling in the winter is big in this part of the country too. Kind of hard to do it during the summer. When it comes to real estate, they get a big thumbs up because they got something for everyone. Right now, they got a house that's for sale outside of town for $149,000 that really needs some work. Your starting money, what you're going to need to buy a house or what you're looking at spending is going to be about $300,000. Currently, they have a couple homes for $328,000 as one and the other one's $305,000. But they go up and you start getting acreage and normally I would say something with a couple acres is going to run you somewhere around $600,000, $700,000. And they have places in town that look really nice. Last six months or so, they've sold like seven other homes that are around 300 to 400,000. So something for every price range here. Number three, Saratoga, Wyoming. This is a great one, especially if you like the outdoors and you like golf. Great place for that. They have a golf course. They have plenty to do outdoors. The North Platte River runs right through town and the golf course. They've even got a hot springs. Now, I brought this up in a recent video. If you're getting up there in age, you got some arthritis, there's a lot of people in that situation that swear by hot springs. But they have the Saratoga Hobo Hot Springs on the south side of town, right near the North Platte River. Saratoga has a little over 1,800 residents, and they get a big thumbs up for their crime rate. It's actually 72% lower than the national average. Again, it's... You know, great people and a lot of guns really keep your crime rate down. That's just a fact. They get a thumbs up for their health care. They have a couple clinics in town, a dental office, pharmacy, things like that. But if you need a real full-blown hospital, it's only like 35, 40 minutes away. You got Memorial Hospital of Carbon County up there in Rawlins. So like I said, they get a thumbs up. I think they need like an urgent care. I couldn't find one. Uh, if I'm missing something, let me know. If you visit Saratoga, make sure in the morning you go to Sweet Marie's, get some coffee, maybe some cupcakes, something like that. 
it's a nice place to start your morning. Now, I mentioned they have some hot springs in town. They have another place called Saratoga Hot Springs Resort, which is really cool. They got like teepees over these pools and it's a pretty cool thing to have in town, especially if you got arthritis, things like that. When it comes to real estate, they get a thumbs up here too, because this is a great place to live and the real estate isn't terrible. I mean, it starts off around $260,000 that's in town and it goes up. There's a couple for like 500,000, one for 375. Outside of town, you start getting up there a little bit higher in the 700,000s and you get some acreage with it. So like I said, thumbs up for that. Number two, Hannah, Wyoming. About 40 minutes north of Saratoga, Wyoming, you have Hannah, Wyoming. This is a town that starts getting out there in the sticks a little bit. And this one goes on here for those of you that are on a budget when you retire or you're just in a budget in general and want to live in Wyoming. This is a great place to look at. Hannah, Wyoming only has about 800 residents and they get a big thumbs up for their crime rate. It's actually 92% lower than the national average, which is outstanding. There are no jobs out here, so don't move out here thinking you're going to be able to find a job. This is a great place for retirees or people that work from home. They got decent internet. They get a thumbs up for their internet. They get Union Wireless. That gets them up to one gig. It's DSL and it covers 95% of the town. After that, you got Starlink. It is definitely doable in this part of Wyoming. Hannah is a great place for someone that wants to live out in the prairie, I guess you could say. They don't want to be around people. They're not looking for a nightlife. They're not looking for friends that have all their teeth things like that. This is the type of place where big excitement is normally like if the train breaks down in town. Hannah gets a faded thumbs up for healthcare. Now they do have a family practice in town, which is nice. This is a very small town and it's good that they have something like that here. Anything you need past what they can offer you, you're going to be going down to Rollins, which is about 40 minutes to the west of Hannah. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. We'd love it if you went over there, watch some videos, and hit that like button on some of those videos. And matter of fact, hit the like button on this video. Really helps the channel out. All right, on to number one. And number one, Afton, Wyoming. Afton is a town in Lincoln County, Wyoming that sits near the Idaho border, about an hour and a half south of Jackson, Wyoming. It has a population of almost 2,000 residents, and it's home to the world's largest ark made of elk antlers. Yes, if you're an elk antler enthusiast, this is your town. It's also good if you like fresh air because their air quality is outstanding. But this elk ark spans 75 feet across four lanes of US Highway 89. The ark consists of 3,011 elk antlers weighing about 15 tons. Right now, you're going, that is more information than I will ever need about elk antler arches. The good news is, all your elk arch needs are now in place and you could sleep better tonight. This is a great place to live for so many other reasons besides elk antlers. They get a big thumbs up for their crime rate. It's actually 94% lower than the national average. Their violent crime rate is 97% lower than the national average. Good job, Afton. They also get a thumbs up for their health care. They have Star Valley Health, which is open 24 hours a day, has the emergency room and all that good stuff you need. Anything past what they can offer, you're going to have to head up to Jackson, which like I said, is almost an hour and a half away. When it comes to real estate, it's getting a faded thumbs up because it's pretty freaking expensive here. Like I said, just that price comes with some property. So if you're looking for some property and you know, you can spend at least 700,000, this is a great place to live. Now in town, they have a couple places that are for 400,000, but a majority of the places are going to be 500,000 on up and you're going to get some acreage with it. When it comes to internet, they get a big thumbs up. They've got a company called Silver Star, which I don't know much about them, but they say they cover 90 9.6% of the town and they offer one gig and that's fiber. So it's going to be pretty good. Again, like I've been saying, Starlink is a serious consideration here in Wyoming. seems like it's pretty decent from everything I've seen. All right, that's today's video. Wyoming is a great place to live. These small towns are amazing. I could have put a bunch of others on here, but the healthcare really knocked a lot of them off the list. They've got some places that have nothing for like an hour away, but they're great towns in almost every other respect. All right, everyone, have a great day. Be nice to each other.